Are you ready to see what you ran over? So exhibit, uh, yeah. exhibit A. All right, y'all, welcome back to Triazine Racing. I just wanted to come on here real quick um, and uh, tell you guys something. So you guys saw the last video, part three of the custom body making series. Um, I was having some trouble matching some paint to the Chevron blue sheet metal we're putting on the car. Uh, and so a guy named Tim Nebel, one of the uh, viewers from Illinois, was kind enough and said, try Krylon True Blue. So I just went down to Lowe's and picked some of that up. They had another color that I wanted to try, and it was cobalt blue. I'm also doing some sweet tea rating, as you guys know. So I got some Chick-fil-A sweet tea, and uh, oh man, that that is, it's like the Pure Leaf. It's 4 out of 10. <coughs> yeah, it's that bad, really. It's 4 out of 10. I'm going to start categorizing all of the sweet tea I've been trying so far as California sweet tea, because it has no sugar in it, it's got no character, it's kind of like the culture around here. Anyways. I'm gonna get to work tonight. We'll see you back at the shop. Uh, the sunlight, let's see what it looks like. You haven't heard with the mufflers on it yet, have you? I have not. It sounds gnarly on video. Well, it sounds even better in person, so I'll let you do the honors and pulling it out. Um, we're gonna spray, spray paint some of this true blue and uh, see how it compares with these other colors. And Eric just brought to my attention that he got me a sweet tea to try. 7-Eleven. So this is gonna be a twofer in this video. I just did the Chick-fil-A one earlier today. Now I'm trying some 7-Eleven. See how it holds up. So far, uh, it's not hard to beat the ones I've already taste tested out. Uh, he pulled the uh, air cleaner off for some cleaning and we noticed that the nuts had not backed off because they're tight, but they're off. So I don't know if the stud's pulling out of the carburetor or what, but I don't know. I got to look at it real good. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's bush light time. It is a cool 90 degrees out. Hit it. like a race car now yeah just a bit more all right you can see it's already building up all the kinds of dust from sitting so long that's how slow we're working here and the sun they all look like shit still <laughs> there's not really any that look the same this one actually i don't know what the deal is it looks the most off but it's the same like tone or something i don't know it's hard to say really whatever color this is looks the closest it kind of does in the sunlight but then once you get in the dark it looks like it's the farthest off so i'm gonna try some true blue krylon and see how that stands up to the rest of these and take a look at it again all right what do you want to listen to as good as me. you already know then Frank Foster? <laughs> no okay <laughs> No. Maybe. I think I'll wash this pre-filter too. This thing's seen better days. But first, before I lose any daylight, I'm gonna get that rattle can on there and take a look. Hey, I think I figured out why it backed off. See a problem there? There we go. Problem solved. I don't, know how that happened. I don't know. 
Maybe you're sucking in the air too hard. All that horsepower, all the air that's freed up coming out the exhaust is now getting sucked down the carb. All right, here goes nothing. All right, I'm gonna let that drop a little bit. All right, it looks way too dark. We'll see how it dries. All right, let's give this thing a shot here. Ooh, that's the best one yet. I'm gonna give that a seven out of 10, which is so far taking the lead. All right, so that's a new one right there, true blue. That's the darkest one yet besides the uh, Ford blue right there in the center. So that's a, a wash. It's a mixture between these two still. Yeah. I really wish they had I that think cobalt. This one's closer. I can name all the states. Olivia showed up. She brought, she brought us a quiz. Yeah, we got homework I now. Can what name the heck? All the states and all the capitals. Have you tried it yet? I have, and I did it right. <laughs> you can't practice and come over here and school all of us on this. So you got to list every single state and the capital. capital. I can do it. I'm gonna beat I you. I guarantee you I can't do it. I'm gonna beat you. Can you get half, you think? I'm probably Ma maybe half. not the capitals, but can you get half I'll the states? Get, I can probably get a good you. chunk of the states. I'm looking forward to it. But definitely not half. Now, now you got a challenge for me. I want to beat you. I know. I will beat you. All right. So the, uh, the winner here is Ace Continental Blue Gloss. See, it looks a lot worse on this camera. Every time I look at the camera, it looks way worse. Crazy how much, come over here and look at this camera. Look how much different it looks in the camera. Looks like it's a whole nother color. Oh yeah. It doesn't look that bad, I'm telling you. Okay, so we just clean these two panels off. We're gonna try black on one. See what it looks like with a black base coat first and uh, compare the two. I don't think they're gonna look any different because this one was white at one time. This one was this color at one time and they came out looking identical. So I don't know. We'll see how the black looks. Make sure um, that there's not anything we're missing there. Okay, so one of the perks for working for General Motors is you get a bunch of stuff that's in the dumpster that kind of looks cool. So what do you guys think? Should I try a new stack here? Take off of a 2021 Duramax? Yep, what? Five inch Duramax. You said a 2020? 2021. Brand, 20, new. brand new car. Had the cat stolen out of it. So I had to replace the exhaust and got the tip out of it. So I think that would shoot fire pretty good compared to those two little guys. Now the question is do I make a duel or just do a single? I think you gotta keep the duel. I think that looks sweet. I think the one stack. And it's stainless, it's never gonna rust. Yeah. Hey, come on, man. Got a power shirt. Got blue now. <laughs> right, got, blue. got the IMC stock car over there just sitting, waiting for somebody to give us some love. All right. Oh, what you got going there's on over three. here? There's not even four. That's perfect. Just one, two, three. <laughs> okay. What you cooking? Hot dogs? Yeah, but they're just flat. Rack of lamb? <laughs> Pork chops. Uh, Need some help with that? Yeah. It usually works. <laughs> they usually right, work. Perfect. Come on. Does it look like Shaq over here? <laughs> yeah, it was me. When are you short or something? Or something. Oh <laughs> Let's get a ladder for the midget. <gasps> he's not a midget. If he's a midget, then what am I? You are gonna like fall through. I'm recording this. <laughs> I'll record my, my nice deck here that I haven't maintained. So nice. <laughs> oh, and that big old spoiler just ran into. Ew. Mmm, it worked. Okay. I was definitely thinking you were gonna like break the thing. <gasps> How cute! I'm too
see what you ran over? So exhibit uh, yeah. exhibit A, your chair. Where did that thing come from? I don't know. And then your freaking paint can, babes. I pull all my Stupid. You guys can weld that back on. <laughs> oh, you're gonna weld it? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I broke it, so now it's fixed. <laughs> what happened to a little bushing in there? They don't go in there. I don't know where it went. Look on this side, right there. Where's that? It? Oh, it's in between. Oh, I'm recording. I'm editing. <laughs> put that chair there. Just for the good. You put that night. chair there. Me? You. Who sat in that chair? Me. Me. <laughs> See? That chair has been there all night. You sat in the last. So it's my fault? No. Yeah. It's my I fault. saw it and I didn't think you were going to hit it. <laughs> just like it's on the track. No. I just had everything out there. No, right? stop. <laughs> all right. That, sir, is a, uh, aluminum brazing rod. You have brazing rods. Yeah. I tried to brace something one time. It didn't go so well. Uh, no, there is a... Oh, you're just trying to look for something thin? Yeah. This, this is, is the thinnest thing, thing I have. This is this is 30... Or 3 30 second, 60 11. That's the thinnest I have. And that's, that's the thinnest that Harbor Freight sells, is this one. Killed it. Yeah, Eric's in here hanging out with all the freaking June bugs. Oh. That were just like, oh shit, it's finally June, might as well come out. But wait, they already been out for a month. Killed it. Look at my skin work. <laughs> it's like somebody came here with a freaking mini bike and did a burnout on my gravel. Don't look at the light, he'll blind you. As you look at the light. I didn't know which light you were talking about. Got some redneck burgers here. Little tiny buns on there too. Where'd you get these buns at? Safeway. Big and small. What? Big and small. They're potato buns. Small mart. <clears throat> potato buns? Mm hmm What the hell's the difference between that and a regular bun? It's I don't no know. Wheat. It's made out of potato. Is that thing going to fold anymore? It's going to be always upright. <laughs> Probably going to always be upright. No. <laughs> He's hard at work on the chair. Nobody ever know what happened. Other than YouTube. <laughs> Keep that camera on, he's about to freaking go. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's good. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay, it's dead. We'll ask the, the viewers here. What do you think that's not me? That says. Everybody knows what that is. It's a trans coupler. Oh, I was right! Oh, it looks like an M, not an R and an A. Hey, most people don't know what a TPMS is besides us. Well, it, it wouldn't say TPMS. Power pressure monitoring system? I don't know. I used this test in high school. Alright, so I'm starting to get this uh, support brace here. Got a little seal I made for it. And I'm going to put a little another piece up there. Quiz time. Quiz time. Quiz time. I just like start writing down states. <laughs> just random ones. Hey, what's this number three? I don't know. Kami Forna? Kami Forna. What? So if all 50 states are on there, it's a win in my book. So what I was thinking is you do like the state and then the capital on the bottom of there's no room for that. No, you just write small, state and. How capital. small is your freaking writing there? Small. 
Not the pen I'm gonna no. give you. Here, here's your pen. Write small with this. No. <laughs> I ain't having nobody cheating on me over here. It's kind of like those walls they have at the DMV so you don't cheat on your person next to you or the star test in high school. Ready, set, go. Wait, is there a time limit? No. Yeah. Well, Washington, we were, everybody knows that. I'm just gonna put abbreviations and then the capital after, okay? <laughs> Holy smokes, guys. I found a radio station that plays Frank Foster. Mustang 1071 from Lafayette, Louisiana. Anyways, uh, I haven't been feeling much, but Livia won the quiz here on the United States. If you guys are from uh, Arkansas or Missouri, I'm sorry, I messed up your capital, as well as I couldn't figure out which one was New York, which one was Pennsylvania. Turns out 39 is New York and 38 is Pennsylvania. I got the two swapped. Anyways, uh, it's coming together. Uh, I haven't really been filming, like I said, just because I've uh, been hard at work. We got a couple more weekends coming up and time is ticking, so I'm trying to get as much stuff done as I possibly can, but we ended up switching up the color um, and this new color is a lot better. It is the original color. It is the Ace Hardware Brilliant Blue that I thought was too matte to begin with, but if you lay it on real heavy, it has a nice gloss to it, so that's what I had to do. Went through about four cans and uh, I was learning from, from Claude over there, Ratliff Race, on how to paint this thing up. You just did two cars, Claude, and I can't believe how much paint you used for only two cars. So I tried my best at it, and four cans of what it came down to, but a light coat and then a heavy coat, that's what you were doing. Tried it out, and uh, I'd say it shines pretty good. So pretty much all the decking is done. Uh, I just got to make up the left rear quarter panel still, and the door. And that's what I'm working on right now. You guys stay with us. I know it's taking a long time to get this done, but part four should have the decking and the sides done by the time this is over with. All right, I'm starting to get this door bent up here. I need to put a little curve in it to kind of come up and hit this line. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this English wheel for the first time in a long time, but I'm not gonna be using the flat wheel. I'm using the curved and see if I can get a little bow in it. So we'll see what happens there. All right, got a nice little bend in the door, and I just drilled a hole right here and right here so I can put one of these quarter inch by 20 nut certs. I only got two more left, so I had to order another box of 100 this time. So I just pulled the car out, take a look at it. What do you guys think? Kind of standing back, eyeballing it. I think it looks pretty sweet. I, uh, I realized that I probably cut it a little bit too short, but um, I'm gonna put a bend down here anyways, so I'll probably don't want it down here anyways, you know, right on the ground, get a little more clearance. So I'll start to bend like up here and then make it more of a straighter line, but I don't know. I think it looks pretty cool with a little bit of rake in it. We'll see, I'm gonna build the rear quarter panel now, get it on there, get the right side back on the car, and then I can go ahead and cut the fender wheels out and really get a good look at it. But I think this door came out pretty well. It just took me a lot longer than I anticipated because there was a lot of uh, a lot of bending to do. But I think I got it pretty good and I got the nut inserts in. So it's pretty easy to be easily removable. And I had to put one little brace in here to hold this side up. I had to put a little piece of uh, old bolt I found lying around and just kind of quickly tack welded it. So we'll see. I think it's going to look pretty good. You guys let me know what you think. Alrighty, Amazon came in the clutch. Ordered these bad boys yesterday, and uh, for five bucks shipped to my door, they showed up in less than 24 hours. So I got these babies all plopped in there. So go ahead and snap them all into place and hang this right side body real quick. All right, so I got the right side on, and I just made some marks down there. I'm gonna go ahead and put the bottom line and uh at the same time 
while I'm using the brake over there to put that bottom line in and fold it, I'm going to be doing the left rear quarter panel. And this is going to be something I've uh, never done before as far as the way I'm going to brake it. I'm going to be taking a little bit of a lip and putting it in the left rear quarter panel to kind of bring it up a little bit and match this door. We'll see how it works out. But I'm going to go ahead and shove this baby back in the uh, shop and get on down the road and get that uh, sheet metal all broke up. Got that panel bent up. I got some more work to do on it. Um, I got to put a little more bend in this part right here. But I basically was trying to get a drop decking kind of look on the uh, left side here. And uh, I think it's going to look good when it's all said and done. Like I said, it's got to do a little more work uh, getting some bends on there. And then the uh, door and uh, front fender, I put the, the bend on the bottom of that. So pretty much the decking and the sides and obviously the nose it's all done on part four here so part five we're going to be doing the spoiler uh and the roof and we still got to do our um spring steel stuff on the side here and then obviously trim out our wheel wells and whatnot but it's coming along uh, i hope you guys enjoyed this 90 percent of video um part five is coming up soon and don't worry we're going to get back to racing here real soon. A couple weeks we'll be racing. So um, after the part five on the body is done, we still got to do our painting and our lettering, um, get the numbers on the car and whatnot. So there's plenty of work to do. But anyways, guys, you know the deal. If it's bent, it's not broken here at Trezian Racing. And uh, I appreciate y'all watching out there. See you next time, guys.